Good morning. I'm Rian Smith. I'm Interpretive Programs Manager for Bernheim. And I'm lucky enough to be out here on the Bent Twig Trail with one of our amazing volunteer naturalists, Joseph Rogers. So we are actually in the pawpaw patch, which is one of my favorite trees. I think you're probably learning in this series that I have lots of favorite trees, and I know Joe does too. So, Joe, I'm going to let you just uh, uh, talk a little bit about some of the reason you love the pawpaw tree and what's so interesting about it to you. Well, I had my introduction to pawpaws from my grandfather, and there's nothing more special in my mind than my grandpa and when we went looking for pawpaws in the pawpaw patch. And there's a little song that says, picking up pawpaws, putting them in your pocket, picking up pawpaws, putting them in your pocket, way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. So, you know, you can find pawpaws on the ground, but not likely you're going to reach down and pick up many because of, they are a wonderful wildlife uh, uh, food. So the coons and possums and a lot of our wildlife will likely beat you to them. They know about them much more than they than know where they are and how they get right before you do. Uh, a pawpaw is, grows in a, a, a patch or a clump, typically. So when you find one, you'll find, you know, maybe up to 100 trees in a, in a, little, in a little grouping uh, because they, they root sucker. And they generally will be in a moist area, kind of shady. They can take understory shade quite well. Uh, and as well, the pawpaw is a one of the northernmost tropical plants. They have arranged the pawpaw itself, this particular pawpaw, up maybe in the northern Ohio and, and southern Pennsylvania, as far as they go. And the fruit is, uh, some people call it the Indiana banana, I've heard that, uh, and there are many names for that. It has a banana, uh, a papaya maybe kind of a taste. Uh, everybody to their own taste and how they describe that. But they're wonderful you know, eating raw once they get ripe. <clears throat> we don't have it here today. The genus is Asemina triloba, and the triloba is a, a species name that if you're coming out here um, late March, early April, there is a, and I don't see any here because these are maybe not blooming because they're so immature, but they'll have a beautiful little maroon colored flower that is that blooms before the leaves come on and it has three petals in that that's what that means try three lobe three lobed petals on the flower that is just really striking uh, but sometimes you have to really go in and look because they're they're darker color but they're just a beautiful beautiful little flower and another way you can identify them in the dormant area is I have pulled off some of the leaves but the terminal bud has a little furry, little hairy type, small little bud that reminds me of the artist's paintbrush. You know, Mr. Bernheim liked art. This is a good way to remember art and how some of our native plants mimicked art. And he didn't know some of these days that we would be talking about the paintbrush and the terminal bud of the pawpaw. Now pawpaws also have another aspect that many people may not be aware of, that they are the host plant to the zebra swallowtail butterfly. Now the butterfly will lay its eggs on the pawpaw leaf and the uh, caterpillar has to use that leaf for, for, to, for it to mature. So if you find those um, caterpillars on your leaves just let them leave them alone and then they will uh, form a chrysalis and uh, they will hatch into an adult beautiful black and white uh, butterfly as a pollinator now I've got a I've got a question uh, uh, what if are what would uh, you you would consider if you scrape the pawpaw leaf and smell it we can't do that here. It smells like green peppers, you know, out of our garden. And I wonder, that's my question, I wonder by the fact that the caterpillar eats the pawpaw leaf, does the caterpillar taste like green peppers? I wouldn't know. Maybe the songbird that eats it could tell us. 
So that's what my story on pawpaws. Thank you.